Mr. Math here, thanks for watching my videos. Be sure to like and subscribe and remember to click the bell icon to be notified of updates. Our hero had just learned a new song from the bard in Monsterton. What does Lily have to do next, Grandpa? Perhaps the song can awaken a certain sleeping owl. Hello again, viewers. Welcome back to Let's Play Blossom Tales 2, The Minotaur Prince. We're in the Periwinkle Woods, where apparently we have to wake up the big owl that didn't eat us last time. When you're facing an owl and are perhaps the size of a rat, that's not a very comfortable situation. But, uh... Whenever the game directs you to do something stupid and or... fall into an obvious trap, well, you gotta do that stupid thing and fall into the obvious trap. An armored zombie. Okay. And yeah, getting rid of his helmet makes him a lot easier to deal with. I thought those guys might be orcs. It was mentioned briefly when we were in Monsterton before that the orcs were extinct, in fact. Which is an interesting little bit of world building. It doesn't say why they're extinct. You know, considering the problem they caused when they were serving the Wizard Crocus back in game number one, I can see why people might decide, okay, we better exterminate these guys. But even so, that kind of genocide doesn't sit right with me. Of course, if that's not why they're all dead, then it's a moot point, but... Even when dealing with people that seem to be mostly just threats, I don't like the thought of genocide. It just doesn't sit right with me. Well, before we proceed with the actual plot, we gotta go back and get another letter to deliver. So let's see who we're taking something for now. Okay, here we are back in town. Yeah, it still irritates me that the sword button and the do everything else button is the same button. Great work. I guess living in the ghoul infested woods has its advantages. This next package is an express delivery. That means it's very time sensitive. It needs to be delivered to Tim in Anchortown in the next two minutes. These fresh Concordian eels will expire and be inedible if you don't get them there in time. Get this package to the shop owner on the houseboat as quick as you can. Okay, that's not too bad. There's a balloon point right next to the town and the shop is pretty close. I can't figure out how it decides which balloon point is next in line when you're selecting them. And the timer paused while I was on the balloon. That was handy. Oh, my eels! You can't get them in the emerald jungles. And you made it with time to spare. I salute you, young mail carrier. 
Okay, let's uh, take the adventurer's tax while we're here. Not much this time. Do better next time. Yeah, that one was easy. I suppose it's easier if you've activated the various balloon travel points. Gotta pick that up since I can see it. If I can see it, I gotta get it. Alright then. How does it decide? Okay. If I... Two, three, four, five. Hmm. It could possibly be the order in which I found them. That kind of, sort of, maybe... Might be it. I can't really remember which order I found them in. So I'm only speculating there, but that kind of looks like what it is. And honestly, that's not very helpful. I wish, like, pushing left on the controls sent me to one over to the left rather than sending me to either the next or previous one and the list of the order I found them. Great job. Good to know I can count on you for more express deliveries in the future. We just got a letter in. Important witch business. Deliver it to Broomhilda, the witch in the Sunkiss Canyons. Let's see, I'm pretty sure I remember where she is. I think she's uh, immediately to the east of the village there. Let's see here. So if I go here and then to the north, I should find... Room Hilda. And I see a clover and a mushroom over there. But I can't get them now because I'm leaving. Yeah, that just irritates me. arrow guys. Archers, that's what they're called. Oop. I was trying to push my sh put up my shield and I hit the roll button instead. No heart? Hmm. Stingy. Okay then. That's where I need to go. To the left there. Hmm. Most enemies can't attack through the uh, different elevations, but this guy can.
convenient for him. Not so convenient for me. Oh well, I didn't have any problems with him. Okay, got a heart. Back up to full health. have my yo-yo out. Alright then, this should be Broomhilda's place. Yep, that's her. The National Witch Academy has accepted my paper on the Dragonheart Essence. They've invited me to speak at the annual witch gathering in the Nether Realm. What does one pack for the Nether Realm? Make a dragon heart potion, combine a sun kiss, monster guts, flame tongue, and jojoba. Okay, nothing else in here. Alright, looks like we're done here. spot and here I am picking up flowers instead ah oh, well priorities you gotta have them coming after me are you bet you wish you hadn't done that now or you know you would wish that if you were still alive to wish anything Resist the urge to slash everything. Okay, there's the balloon ride. Heart? Nope. Okay, never mind. should probably deal with the Colosseum here in the desert at some point. But not right now. I want to get caught up on the uh, letter delivery side quest. It's much longer and more involved than it was in Blossom Tales 1. I think there was like maybe five or six letters to deliver in that game. I've already delivered a lot more than that. Your next delivery is to Victoria in Monsterton. Have you been to the town in the Periwinkle Woods? Yes, I have. I'm not exactly sure where she lives. Just ask around town. Victoria, huh? Anything I can use all this money for? <laughs> and while I'm at it, is there a convenient place where I can catch up with the trader so I can trade him some of the stuff I've been collecting? Hmm. The only places I can think of offhand where I can find the trader are to the west of the desert town in the Sunkiss Canyons, and I believe to the south of Anchor Town, over in the Emerald Jungles. Hmm. I'm not sure either one would be faster than the other. Yeah, 
now that I think of it, another thing I'd like to do is go down to that um, house, you know, that ruined house where I found the note asking for a ghoulixer. Reread that note so I know what I'm supposed to do with it. I definitely remember it said something about the graveyard. But I don't know if it means the graveyard here in near Blossomdale or one of the other graveyards around the map. Hmm. Okay, let's not worry too much about that. Hmm, clover. Yeah. That would be kind of difficult to actually get to. Never mind, let's just go. Yeah, let's go to Anchor Town and see if I can get to the trader merchant from there. I mean, I know that I can. Let's just, you know, go do it. Across this bridge and then down on that side of the river. That's where I should find him. Yep, there he is. Plenty of that stuff. Five gems. Okay. Adventurer's tax and... Okay, I can afford another piece of heart. And that was the fourth piece, so now I have another heart container. Okay, three flowers that I have zero of. So first of all, I need to get those to trade with him. But second, I also need those to give to Flo at the flower shop. Because those have to be the three that I haven't given to her yet. It's the only thing that makes sense. So I need at least nine of them. I'm sure that when I locate them, I will get a lot more than nine. Oh, you jerk. Come back up. I'm going to kill you just for that. Never tangle with Lily, the Knight of the Rose. She will end you. All right then, looks like my ultimate path takes me back to Periwinkle Woods. Let's see though, if I can figure out what's up with that goo elixir before I go back there. So it's the square immediately east of this balloon spot right here. I'll go into town, get the next delivery. No, wait, I can't get the next delivery because I haven't delivered the current one yet. That's back in the Periwinkle Woods. All right. So I'll head on over, try to figure out what's up with that Goolixer potion. And maybe even take care of that while I'm here. And then it'll be back to Periwinkle Woods. Up we go. 
unfortunate victim of snake discrimination. Ooh. A traversal option that I haven't opened up yet. Hmm. That's another thing to take care of then. Let's see. I have been to the north of here. But it looks like I haven't been far enough around to get over to this spot. Hmm. All right, well, again, that's another thing to take care of. Although it looks like I'm going to have to go a long way around to take care of it. Have I destroyed these rocks here? Well, either I did or there was nothing underneath it anyway. Ah, there's a diggable spot here, though. I have over 2,000 gold coins. What am I going to spend them all on? Nothing there, either. Okay, that must be the wrecked hut where I found the letter. If you're reading this, I've passed over to the Great Beyond. Please come and check on my spirit at the Blossomdale Cemetery. Okay, specifically there. P.S. Bring a Goo Elixir Potion. Okay. So, does whoever that is want me to give them a Goo Elixir Potion? Or do I need to use one on myself? It doesn't last very long when I use it. Just a couple minutes. Ow, darn it, the tree stopped my swing. I was trying to be clever and get both that apple and the bee with the same swing. Didn't work. to Blossomdale Cemetery with the Ghoul Elixir Potion. sure which spirit I'm looking for. Is it going to be obvious? Or, like, is it going to be one of these guys? And I wonder, if I used the Ghoul Elixir Potion, would they act friendly to me? Let's see if I can avoid... Destroying any more of them. Literal grave robbing, yay. Why, those guys can't even stand this brazier here. with the conundrum of how do I find the spirit? 
How do I know when I found the spirit? Oh, darn it, I'm stuck. in the dungeon, perhaps? Because I'm not seeing anyone other than those standard ghosts. Maybe this person? Looks like I can't exhume him. Lots of ghosts in here. Hmm. Yeah, this is not looking like the place either. Out of the way. Hey, you jerk, get out of the way. Ah. Fine, let's lure him over here. That should do it. Ah, there's another one in the way. Jeez, these literal and figurative creeps are really getting on my nerves. Not in here. Hmm. So maybe I should just go ahead and use that goo elixir potion? Problem is, I only have the one. I do have two empty bottles, so I could make another couple. But then that would mean having to leave and come back. Might just have to go for that, though. That didn't work. As soon as I touched him, it uh, blasted. All right, well, at least now I know it's not those guys. Of course, now I have to go make another Gulixer potion. Fortunately, there's an alchemy place down in Blossomdale, which isn't too terribly far. Lots of enemies up here all of a sudden. Alright, where was the house with the alchemy set up? I think it was here. Ha ha ha! can only make one. Oh, dear. Well. You gotta do what you gotta do. What do you say, by the way? Uh, just more... Just the same random stuff as the other people. You did pretty well with the adventurer's tax. I'll have to remember you. Okay, then. Huh. 
heart. Come on. Alright, so... If he's not... If this person is not just sort of randomly wandering around the graveyard... And he's not in that cave... Then the only other place left is the uh, starter dungeon where I got the sword and shield. And now I can not worry about ending these guys. Because it would appear that they are not who I'm here to see. Check out the uh, crypt. There's no map of the crypt. potion. Definitely said Blossomdale Cemetery. I haven't found him anywhere else. <sighs> More of these guys. I think they drop anything. Uh, I guess he uh, did not disappear as quickly as I expected. Okay, I'm somewhat stumped. Okay, that was interesting. The environmental torches do actually take them out. But they have to be literally right on top of them. That's why it seems sometimes like they do and sometimes like they don't. They do, provided the ghost is close enough. stumped. I don't know where this guy is.
still move these things around, huh? an impasse. Someone left a letter telling me to come see them. But with no information about where I can actually find them. Beyond just saying the Blossomdale Graveyard. If I blow up these rocks, will that do anything? Nope. Is there a grave anywhere that I can push? right through it. Okay, that's weird. These little lanterns end them. But this thing? No. Could it possibly be this one? That's the one grave that really looks different. Most of the rest are just in this standard stone slab style. Okay, that's really my last idea. It could be this thing. Gosh, I thought being dead would help, but I just can't get over my fear of death. <laughs> well, hmm. Please, oh please, would you go and find me a rejuvenation potion so that I may return to life? Don't sneak up on me like that. Oh, what's that? You found a rejuvenation potion. Bless your heart, little knight. It worked! Undead ghost. <laughs> I can feel my life force restoring. Please take this as a token of my appreciation. Okay, an energy crystal. Thank you again. It feels good to be alive. So you're just going to stay here in the graveyard now? Thank you again, it feels good to be alive, he says to the girl who was just a ghost. No comment on that point, huh? Fair enough, I suppose. Hmm. Okay, I spent t two goo elixirs and a rejuvenation potion. I now have an orb shield and a double damage.
I should probably make a few more things. One or two health potions sounds like a good idea. Come on, doesn't anyone have any hearts? I got one. Okay, well, finally back to the Periwinkle Woods and to Monsterton. Letter to deliver there. And I'm certain that someone there will have an alchemy table or pot or whatever I'm supposed to call that. Again, collecting the adventurer's tax. the graveyard. Okay, not exactly the same. A remix of the same song. the alchemy pot in this town. Some believe we're all a figment of the great owl's dream. Where'd they get a crazy idea like that? Yeah. Couldn't possibly have come from Link's Awakening. Okay, no alchemy bench here. store. I sometimes hear screams and chilling noises coming from the big mansion. No alchemy in here. be... what was the name? Victoria? A letter for me! So, I can't actually open the envelope. Would you read the letter to me? Dearest Victoria, I haven't heard from you in a while. I hope this letter finds you well. I just moved into a new house in the Sunkissed Canyons. You should come for a visit. Thinking of you, sincerely, Elisa. I really should get out more. Maybe a trip to Dustwood is just what this temporal form needs. Dustwood, that must be the name of the village out there in the Sunkissed Canyons. Still haven't found the uh, potion making pot. Ah, this must be it. Ah okay, let's see. I have four empty bottles. 
All right, let's make two health potions. Good. What does mushroom soup do? I don't need goo elixir anymore, I believe, and I can't make it anyway because I don't have one of the ingredients. Hmm. I wish there was a description for what these different potions did. I can remember some of them, like Dragon Heart, that basically just means everything you do causes fire which might be a good one to have now that I think of it if we're going to be facing the undead rejuvenation, mushroom soup, dragon heart, orb shield hmm do I want rejuvenation or do I want mushroom soup? I wish I knew what mushroom soup did. Well, maybe I'll find out. Alright then. I just love to learn new recipes. That can be helpful. Alright, let's actually get on our way finally. So what's north? Whoa, an actual Legend of Zelda bat. Rather than those weird round rock-like bats an actual Legend of Zelda style keys that's definitely an 8-bit monster right there Big spot. Yeah, I would think having a graveyard in this area would be a bit superfluous. I mean, if someone died, wouldn't they just bury them right in town? That seems to be the decor they have over there. Offering shrine. Four out of six. So far, so good. Okay, if I had come this direction during my original trip to the that big tree I wouldn't have been able to get any further but now that I've come from the other direction I have the ladder down block puzzle. Oh, that one's going to be a bit tricky. Uh, no, I think I already see the solution now that I say that. Push that one down. here. 
which not only places one of the blocks, but neatly gets it out of the way so I have this nifty little circle I can go around in. And now, push this block this way, but don't push it up yet. I'll be pushing it up to the corner soon. But before I do that, I want to be able to push these out. Push this one over here, and then use the nifty circle to go around. Yep. Since there were only four, it wasn't that bad. Piece of heart or an energy crystal? I've got so many heart containers, I really would like more of the green energy bar. But, yeah, I figured it'd be a piece of heart. How am I doing on both of those scores, by the way? One piece of heart, three more to go. Two energy crystals, two more to go. Okay. go to the east from this screen? Oh, one of these little ghosts, eh? Ah, here's the way east. Oh! A balloon stand. Two dig spots. Ah. Poor snake. I dug him up and then I had to kill him. Alright, that's interesting. How am I supposed to get up here? There's a bombable wall right there, a crack. Up on the next level up. But again, I can't get to it. Hmm. That looks important. Here's the traitor guy. Of course, I still can't trade with him. I'm pretty sure I have not found any of those flowers that he wants. Yep, still zero. Switch semi hidden in the grass over there, and there's a crack on the wall here, and a diggable spot, and another crystal. Okay, I'm just finding lots of stuff. Lots of money, it would appear. These bombable wall spots seem to only ever have money. Again, understandable, you wouldn't necessarily want to hide something important behind a random anonymous crack in the wall that could easily be missed. But still, I wish some of them had pieces of heart or injury crystals. It's something more important than just money. I already have so much of that, I don't need any more. 
Oh, another offering statue. Excellent. I do need more of those fish that allow me to make elixirs. Let's see if I can get one. Or maybe even two. Nope. Okay, there's one. Places are filled with fish. I think I spent too much time here already. try. Down, left, right, down. Yeah, didn't think so. I guess I could try to drop a bomb and run for it, but I don't think I could go fast enough. That's a bit of a puzzle. Well, maybe I have to wake up the owl and have him either tell me what to do or give me the treasure to do it with. So I guess it's time to go over there. Oh, a dig spot. spent so much time on side stuff that unfortunately I'm out of time for actually advancing the plot. So we're pretty much at the end of the episode. Let's just get to the Next screen over. And viewers, thank you very much for watching Let's Play Blossom Tales 2 The Minotaur Prince. In the next episode, we'll finally go view the concert, presumably wake up the owl with that song that we learned in the previous episode, 
and hopefully the owl will explain how we get up to the dungeon, which has to be a couple screens over at the balloon landing spot. That's the plan for the next episode as it stands right now, and I'll see you then. Thank you.